Welcome to Make It Happen with me, your host, Maggie. If you're feeling unmotivated, this episode is one you do not want to miss. First things first, I truthfully do not give a you-know-what if you're not feeling motivated. I think it's most important to get this out of the way first because we put way too much emphasis on the importance of motivation. We tend to give it way too much credit either for our success or for our failures. For example, I've been so motivated lately, or ugh, I've been really lacking motivation. And we lean hard into these feelings, so much so that we believe they're reality. But motivation isn't what makes up your reality. Motivation does not deserve the credit for either your shitty or awesome outcomes. Excuse my French. Motivation is an excuse, nothing more, nothing less. If you're feeling motivated, awesome. But if you're not, who cares? Motivation is a gift when it pushes you to take action, but it never lasts. Do you hear me? Motivation does not last. That is the truth, and the sooner you realize this and embrace this reality, the better. You are so much more powerful and in control than motivation whether you know it yet or not. Motivation may have been what got you started, but it certainly will not be what keeps you going. If you want to be successful, and I know you do, you cannot rely on motivation. So, motivated or not, smack on a smile, strap in, shoulders down and back, head held high, grab a coffee or your water, and let's dive in. Motivation can certainly propel you forward, but more often than not, when it's not present, it will hold you back if it's where you lay your focus. The answer is in the habits that you create. But how do you create habits if you're lacking motivation? That is the hard part. That is why I'm guessing you're here today. First, you have to lean into your willpower. It is there. You have it. You just might need to activate it. And the best way to do that is through action. Action is your answer. In order to succeed, you have to take action. And in order to act, you need to lean into your willpower. It's as simple as making the decision to act, to do something, and then practice making that decision over and over again. I bet you that if you decided today to do a 15 minute workout with me, you will not only not regret that decision, but you will feel more motivated. And that's motivation that you created with your willpower. So you practice this over and over, day after day. You tell yourself you have the willpower and you practice dedication to it by following through. It'll feel great each day that you follow through on something that makes you feel good. And before you know it, with every small change that you decide that you have the willpower to act upon, you will have created habits. And when you have a habit, you just do. Right now, you might feel totally bewildered, for example, by people who work out every day. But the truth is that part of their day is routine, just like waking up and brushing their teeth. It may not be the first thing that they want to do most days, but they do it anyway, because it's a habit. Now, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it and tell you that it's going to be easy. The beginning is always the hardest. And when it's about overcoming tough, habitual excuses and creating good habits instead, it will be hard. It will require you to lean into your willpower, be dedicated, and follow through. But as hard as it might be, it is as simple as making a decision each day. Make today the first day of that decision. Then, when tomorrow rolls around, recall how awesome you felt when you made that decision today. Use that feeling to create motivation. If you create motivation for yourself versus relying on it to show up, it will be so much easier to whip out that willpower and stay dedicated. The last thing I want for you is to start and stop. This makes your life hard, so much harder than it needs to be. So after a few days of practicing willpower and taking action, I need you to reevaluate, make any adjustments that you need to make, and keep going. When thoughts start to creep in that make you question whether you can do something, you turn your back on those thoughts and you remember to just do it. 
because you can. You just have to keep deciding that you can and keep acting upon it. Do not jump ship. Do not fall off the wagon. Even if it's challenging, because it will be challenging, you must remember that it's also simple. And the more you practice using that willpower within you to your advantage, the easier it will become. But you have to make the decision to be dedicated. You have to practice using that willpower to overcome feelings of doubt or of temptation to skip out on what you've set out to do. And each day that you practice using that willpower, you will get that much closer to building habits that support you. And that, again, is what it's all about. Habits are what keep you moving forward when the going gets tough. The goal is to create habits. You must have habits. And I promise you they are totally possible for you to create in your life. You simply have to make the decision and then practice your willpower to follow through. Remember, it is about committing to small changes. Not everything, all at once. Refer back to episode number three for more on this, but all or nothing doesn't work for most of us. When it comes to your fitness, an example of a small change is to set aside 15 minutes for it. This small amount of time is nothing. You have 15 minutes. If you doubt that or tell me that you don't, I throw the challenge flag. We all have 15 minutes. If you struggle to find it, you have to create it. There are all kinds of time sucks out there from scrolling social media to shopping apps or watching TV. And if you honestly say you don't fall victim to any of those and you really don't have 15 minutes, it looks like you're setting your alarm 20 minutes earlier to create that time. It is a choice. It's that simple. And that goes for any goal that you have in life. Break it down, take a step forward, feel the excitement of the motivation that you create, and then practice willpower day after day to stay dedicated. And before you know it, habits are born and habits are worth leaning on. So quit relying on motivation to find you. If you do, you will end up failing and you are not here to fail. So create it instead and pave that awesome path for yourself to move forward. If you've enjoyed today's episode, make sure you hit subscribe and this part is important. Pick a friend who might need a little pep talk about motivation today and share this episode with them. I'm here to help kick the overwhelm and encourage you to feel your best. And motivation is something that we all struggle with. So please share. Until next time, go make it happen. Mm -hmm.